here we go. Here's the update on the Wapsie Valley corn. Uh, it's the 4th of February. And this stuff is still standing. Uh, you know, like I said, we ran out of daylight here. It doesn't look too bad, but there's mold. I don't know. I'm going to run it through the dryer and burn it pretty good. It's it's quite wet. Yeah. But there's what we're looking at there. It's soft, like I said, we ran, we ran out of season here. It's not, not the corn's fault, it was planted late. I have a lot of animal damage. A lot of wildlife problems here, a lot of bear, a lot of deer. But for being February 4th, and this stuff is, I figured the whole field would be flat. We had some real good windstorms, but there's still some ears. I mean, there's nothing really here. There's not much here at all, but... I said this is a test. So, I don't know, maybe I'll try it again next year. It's, a, it's supposed to be an 85-day corn. I think it's more like a 93-day, if I was to guess. That's how it grew here for me, anyway. But, I don't know, everything grows goofy when you got some elevation. I said I put this right here in probably like around 1,600 feet. Maybe a little more. Not quite sure. Uh, the hill off in the distance over there, the high spot, that's like maybe 21, just about, maybe 2,200 is the max around here. So, you never know if you don't try. So I didn't plant the whole farm in it. But, get a better view from up here. February 4th and still standing some.